Today, we're gonna go finish up baby Jacob. Here we go. Michelle Manriquez from Drop That Brush, and I want to help people who are non artists become artists. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. This has been a five part series where we looked at a video on noses, ears, eyes, and lips. Then we worked on the shape and the values of the baby so that you can see that this side is dark this size light this is the fun part now now it all puts together and it gets more exciting at least to me but if i have the basic values first i'm much more likely to get a, a win rather than a oops that was not a good idea shouldn't have wait i shouldn't have done that when i am looking at the values i really use my notarizer value sketch but when I'm actually looking at the details, I use the picture. I hope this gives you an opportunity to just kind of study shapes of noses, shapes of eyes, actually taking the time do to make it actually look that person. It'll be a likeness. Same old, same old. We're doing layers. We're doing more detail this time. We are going to finish up all the basic mainly parts some of it will go really fast i'm assuming like the ears should just be a few you're out of there and then at the end i'm going to come back through i think and do the hair caucasian babies there's very few values differences so we have to really pay attention i'd rather be on the light side than the dark side because if you get it really dark or if you outline every eye and you outline everything What'll happen is they'll look older and you'll think, oh, what happened? Yeah, so keep it very soft, very flowy. We can do this and we're gonna finish this up today. Let's work on the ears. Now the ears are actually pretty red. It's okay to be pretty almost red. And I'm softening an edge. I'm not trying to make it really, you know, this hard, edge and I'm going to take a little darker red and tap it in the uh, where it's dark or I may have to come back again more than once but you know it's not bad and then there's going to be a little red right here I'm just going to soften that out All right, we do not want to spend a lot of time on the ears. That's enough. Does not have to be perfect. I keep telling myself that and I keep paying. All right, stop, stop, stop. Okay, stop. God, do you guys, that happen to you guys too? I really do that. I hate that when I do that. It's like, oh my God, I just have to keep working. I just have to keep working. I don't even think it needs anything else than that. Maybe there's a little shape right here that kind of shows that the ear is uh, rolling. And do I need, there is a shadow shape here, but I'm just gonna, because ears are not important. All right, off we go. Boy, this is a Laura Canal 6. I prefer an 8. But that's what I happen to have right now. I'm going to pull out my highlight because I kind of lost it. Imagine that. Now I'm going to throw in a little other colors. You know, when they say blue eyes, that doesn't mean there's not other colors in it. If you actually look at a child's or people's eyes, it, it frequently will have different colors. 
I know that there's going to be a really dark area, right? So I'm going to do that. Pop that in. Some of it will be a little lighter, some a little darker. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little red in the tear duct. I don't think I'm in the right spot. I'm going to clean that up. Try again. This gets really light right here. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to soften the edges. I'm actually going to maybe soften this a little bit. That won't hurt anything. Maybe soften that one. And so I'm using different colors just for the fun of it. Maybe I'll use a little of that green too, just for giggles. A little light tan color. You know, it's interesting because that's actually his eyebrows, his little eyelashes, but they are so light, you don't really see them. They're there, I saw them. soften edge and I can see if you really look it goes this way and then it kind of goes up like that now let's talk about these eyebrows the eyebrows really don't show much what you're gonna do is you're going to um, you're gonna make the shape so let's do I'm gonna show you so I make sure we're all in the same place so I am going to do this shape and it's easier to make the shape. So this is a redder, this is a little tanner, and that supposedly is what could be an eyebrow. Okay, and then there's one with a little bit more, more orangey, so I'm gonna, so I've piled different piles and I can grab. Let's use this color with a little purple, which is color because his eyebrows Let's put some water because always it looks better with water. You don't have less issues. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, squeeze my brush a little bit and see if it just moves. So like there, we're just barely tapping in an eyebrow. There could be an eyebrow there, maybe. And maybe a little, a little darker right it gets more red i'm just gonna even though i just feel like he needs some kind of eyebrows he's very blonde a blonde boy blonde boys do not have eyebrows to speak of I just, I can see that that's gonna have to be darker and darker yet. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the other side. I'm putting water. Is there a part that's a little bit um, darker that we can see it? Yeah, this kind of just goes into that. We have no idea what's going on there. Okay. And I do this. I work from place to place. And there. Okay, and I'm just going to soften it. is a very dark here and here 
So let me get, let me get a little darker color. Let's go ahead and get a little dark brown dots for the nose. That's easy to pop out. So dark. And then soften it up so we have a little lighter color. I'm going to get inside the mouth. Now, if you really look, you have a dot. And then it goes actually right there and goes straight through. Going around the lips. I'm going around the teeth. Now, do you notice that there's this little dip? Like they're not, you know, they're not, they're straight, but they're, what's the word? There's a name for it. Like little divots. And this goes all the way over to that corner. <laughs> And I wouldn't mind putting it at the same time. And I'm gonna soften it. If you notice, it's a soft edge. And certain parts of it are darker, right? Still trying to find a good color that I like. So right here, it's really dark. And then it kind of just softens out. And there's this little, there's kind of a, a line work. Oh, you see me? I'm just busily putting marks. I just love my life. Okay, well, we'll fix, no problem. Here's this, this really red area. Maybe not that much. Oops. Tap, tap, tap. A little more water. Well, I'm gonna need black for the that I do. The rest of it I'll do in a dark brown. And then I can try it. If I don't like something, then it's easy to fix. Let's go ahead and pop in the pupils. The pupils make a huge difference. And I'm going to soften everything. And I'm going to soften that into the wa the water. And I'm going to soften it into that. <laughs> I spent a lot of my time softening. And I'm not going to do a totally straight line either here. I'm just going to do a little bit, stop little bit stop and I'm gonna soften everything I see that area there seems to be a little dark I think those are his eyelashes but you just can't see it so what are you gonna do with that I'm just getting a little, a little something that says, oh yeah, there is eyebrows here somewhere. That's good enough. I don't really need any more information. Maybe I'll hit a little black right in the edge.
And so I'm gonna um, go through one more time and try to get a really dark outside. I still need to get that a little darker. I think I'm gonna make it pinker. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't like that color I got onto it. So I'm just gonna throw in and put a really pink in here. I still feel that this needs to be more color on it. Hang on, let me see if I can get a color I like. See, sometimes the problem is you gotta find the color that you like. I know it's really dark in the uh, picture, but so I'm gonna do it a little bit lighter than that, I think. His teeth has a little shadow on it, probably is blue, I think. All right, I'm gonna do the hair, the background, and I think I'm gonna stop before I mess it up. What do you guys think? And I'm letting this area just to be a soft edge on purpose. It kind of went too dark, huh? Hmm. Again, I'm not really wanting to be any focus on the clothing. So anything I do is just going to be very subtle and just, you know. This is actually quite a bit darker. Uh, I do need some kind of background to hide my boo-boos. And I'm going to use the colors that I'm using in the clothes. I'm not wanting a pretty color. Maybe a little... And so I'm using the same colors. So as I'm doing this, I'm going to leave that one alone. This allows me to have a soft, a soft edge. So I'm going to do this. And I'll put water right here. care if the ear gets a little yucky because I don't want you to focus on it. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to just put color right into the hair and into the uh, thing. Now I'm at the point that I gotta be really careful. I, I, what I'm doing is I'm just adding little movements. I'm watching, look at how they go, and then kind of softening up so that I get some movements. And I've kind of waited till I'm close to the end. And you can see I'm using a smaller brush. And I'm just doing quick little movements. a chance just to really check the baby out. I wanted to think about what I did. I think I need a color here. I'd like this to be maybe come out to the, I don't like this hard line. Um, I think I, I'm looking at the eyes. I still think I want a little more softer, but a little darker. And maybe a little of this more darker. And maybe I can more so the thing. I was very ginger. Ginger, ginger, ginger. And I'm gonna put water here. And I'm gonna go boop, boop, 
dark here. I think I'm going to soften this. I don't think I, I like the fact that it is uh, so hard. My goal is to get in and out pretty fast. I really don't want to, uh, to play because probably all that'll happen is I'll make myself a mess and then I'm going to cry. That happened to you? Oh, it happens to me. And there's there's a little movement here. Okay, I don't need to do that. Stop that, Michelle. You don't need that. You, I don't know if you noticed. But I decided not to even try to get a um, eyelashes because they're so light. You can't see little boogers. I could play. Oh, I could play. Oh, Lord, I could play but I'm trying to keep it under 10 minutes. A little more dark right here. Let's work on the hair. I can maybe do more, a little more curl information. So I'm gonna roll probably with the uh, gold with a little purple. See, I wouldn't mind just, just taking that and just bringing this out. So I'm looking at and seeing if I can mimic some of that hair. Well, that was interesting. Yep, I should have stopped right there. Okay. The problem is the hair is all over the place. That makes this fun. So I think I'm gonna pull out a few places. I think I got that too dark. Okay, I gotta stop. It's okay, it's not perfect. What do you think guys? Better stop. Drop that brush, baby. Well, I had to come back through. I looked at it for a little bit and I came back through and did more on the hair and a little darker on the eyes. And you know, to me, it's good. It's reasonable. Not, is it perfect? No, <laughs> I, but I still love watercolor. There's a vibrancy that comes from doing watercolor portraits and they make me, I get excited about it. I hope this series will be helpful. I hope you have a chance to break things down. Don't assume you can do the whole face with one go and it'll be perfect. Because yeah, at least I could never do it. I had to slow down, be relaxed. Next week, I'm gonna look at a totally different style of portraits. You know what? I just wanna have fun. I don't know, do you, do you just wanna have fun? I mean, I don't do this because I might get no money out of it. I'm doing it just because I think that people, anybody, anyone can do watercolor. 
You just got to try, you got to practice, and you got to be kind to yourself. And I believe people can do this. I know. I have seen people who have no talent, including me, and they just are jamming. So you can do this. There, find the links for other four videos and for picture, the drawing, and the value sketch. You have a wonderful day. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Bye.